everyone, welcome to <coughs> welcome to round number eight here. Right now, you're watching the practice here here at Iowa. Iowa was supposed to be at night since it got rained out. Uh, Naps has put this to a day race, and they're letting the teams to practice in the day. And I would like to make an announcement that we are using the 2014 Chase format. If you guys haven't been aware, if you keep up in the Facebook page, uh, North America, NR2003, NABS, or if not, uh, North America Pro Series be in the description, like always. Um, I have announced that we are using the 2014 Chase format. And round number 15, around that time, we are using, uh, signups will be up, I believe, if not, round 18 or 19, that we are using the 2014 Gen 6. And the only time I'm going to be reserving cars are the people that help me with this league and everything. Like, for... Example, Dom Caps, he's been helping me with this league, what to do, what I need to see, like, what I'm supposed to do. Same with Jonathan Harris in the 25 car. And it, I'm just making that announcement. And, also, and one last thing, if you have a win, if you have a win, you are locked into the chase. You could be a 42nd in the chase. You still have a win. And I am throwing, throwing a bonus to help the underdog teams. Well, the, pretty much, pretty much a, what's the word I'm looking for? Pretty much the guys that do not have a win at all. I'm going to make a race. So whoever wins that race, you're, they're locked into the chase. And it will be, I guess, you could say, kind of like a, kind of like a, I don't want to say a point, I guess I have to say a point race, kind of like a point race. But no, no, it's not going to be a point race, because it might screw someone else. Yeah, it's not going to be a point race, whoever wins there, whoever does have a win, they're locked into the chase. And that will be it, and I'll see you guys at the starting grid. Alright guys, welcome, we are now at the starting grid, Nick Caps captures another pole, this guy is the man when it comes to getting the pole, but I already said, I already pretty much gave the speech of what's happening, but go ahead and start your starting lineup. Alright guys, alright, 37 guys are in this field, it's Iowa, so that's the most I could put it is 37 drivers. I know a lot of you guys will be disappointed, but like I said, I am throwing a bonus race for the guys that's yet to win a race and that might I don't I do not know what track to tell you the truth but other than that we'll be right back when the green flag drops drivers stop your engines and the engines has been fired here at Iowa Nick Caps repulse sitter and the outside pole is Dylan Perry in that 29 Pennzoil car.
Nick Caps has been improving. Has been improving since since the beginning of the season. And let's see if we can cap another one here. We are green flag in the air here at Iowa. Alright guys, Nick Caps has led the first lap. It looks like Looks like so far so good. And they are three wide in the back. Daquan Akins. He hasn't been improving lately. He's been falling back. So far, I believe he's locked him in, in the chase by point. You can see he is 31st place. He's making runs on the inside. That's where you want to be. It's, it's the inside lane. Looks like Austin Marshall has fallen back. But Nick Caps is continuing leading here on lap four. Dylan Perry. We have a battle for a second here. Dylan Perry and Griffin Johnson in the 43 car. Looks like Griffin Johnson made the pass work. And the brothers here. Older brother Nick Rodriguez is, is trying to look for a win. So he could be locked in. And he slides up right in front of Will Back. See Josh Rodriguez and oh. Right. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, no! Oh! No! Griffin Johnson and Dylan Perry. Oh my god. Oh, um, let's see if we could try. Yeah, there appears lightly damaged, but see Griffin Johnson. He is wow. Oh my God! I can't believe that happened. See if other guys got a part of it. Looks like so far so good. Only those guys got part of it. See, guys are coming down pit road. Green flag pit stops are underway here at Iowa. When they're done making their, not green flag pit stops, when they're done making their pit stops, we'll show you guys a replay. And the 11 car will lead them down to pit road. Looks like Matt Rodriguez won the battle off of Pit Road. Then it was Nick Caps and Dylan Perry. Meanwhile, let's see of the 43 car. And I believe he has taken his car behind. Yeah, he's taking his car behind the wall here at Iowa. And we're going to get you guys a replay. All right, the caution was out for a debris. And the, and the five car of Josh Rodriguez.
Kyra Bell, Zach Coleman Schneider, Kenneth Back, Jordan Anderson, Jonathan Harris. A lot of guys have stayed out because they are trying to get the win. And Kyra Bell looking for the lead. She made contact with Josh Rodriguez. Here comes Zach Coleman Schneider. Look at that three three wide for the lead. Zach Oman Schneider, Kenneth Back, and Jordan Anderson. Jonathan Harris making a miss. And there they go. Kenneth Back is flipping. Oh no. And more cars has piled in. See the six of Dan Johnson. The 18 of Daquan Akins. And their pole sitter, Nick Capps. John Harple, Amanda Hug and Kiss, and Kenneth Back. Again, this was the battle for the lead. Oh, and we will get you guys a replay here. Alright, they are three wide for the lead. Jonathan Harris made contact with the 41 Jordan Anderson. Kenneth back. Oh my gosh, flipped right above the 41 car. You see they are still piling, piling in. And it looks like Jonathan Harris in that 25 car. Yeah. I believe he is having a problem or something. And these are the guys that brought their cars behind the wall. Alright, we're we'll keep you guys updated with the 25 car. And he does not want to be another lap down. We'll try. Yeah, we can't tell if he has damage or not. Let's see here, rear chase. Looks like it's fine here. It's just having a problem on pit road. Roof, uh, chase. Yeah, it seems fine. But he is going to go down a lap here at Iowa. Again, we do not know the problem. Yep, they are putting left side tires on. I believe they had a problem with the right front wheel. Got a little bit of fixing that damage that he got into of Jordan Anderson. He's so gonna stop on pit road to let the leaders by. And we are going green here, and Dylan Perry is your leader. Mike Kubitschek, Kyra Bell, Josh Rodriguez, Jordan Weefen, Jason Marshall, Ricky Bobby, Homer Simpson, Kayla Pierce, and Dan Johnson is your top 10. And green flags in the air. <coughs> look out, Mike Kubitschek. He's going to look for the lead. They make contact for the lead. Mike Kubitschek. Remember, he's one of those guys that needs a win. They are three wide behind them. That's not going to work. They made it work. Josh Rodriguez pulling a dangerous pass. A risky pass. Looks like there are three wide here. Looks like so far so good. See, Derek Coleman is making a three wide passes. Matt Rodriguez is down to 13th. He's battling for the 12th position and the 11th position. And they are stacking up here. Kyra Bell has fallen back. Same with Dylan Perry in that 29 car. Kayla Paris, give a call for him. He's in the 
fourth position. Look at Jeremiah Bell. See, Mike Kubitschek is their leader. This is the part where you look up here because they are stacking up one by one. You can see, oh, Chase Element got right on the bumper of Josh Rodriguez. Josh Rodriguez still going. And meanwhile, Mike Kubitschek is getting in front of lap traffic here of the 25 of Jonathan Harris. See, Jeremiah Bell, he's one of those guys. Oh, my God. Chase Element, what a save. And three wide. What a save by Chase Element. So far, so good. See behind him, they're about for a second, and Caleb Paris almost made contact with Josh Rodriguez for the sixth position. See, Matt Rodriguez has driven to the top, top ten. He's going to look on the inside of his older brother of Nick Rodriguez. And I'll give a call to Kerry Paris driving the number seven car, the Monster Energy Ford Fusion. He is in the top ten. Uh, he, I believe, he stayed out on when the leaders had pinned under the caution, and so far it's paying off. And he's gonna lose a position by three positions to the two car, Homer Simpson, and Jason Marshall. Meanwhile, Jeremiah Bell has taken the lead from Mike Kubitschek. Jeremiah Bell has reeled in Mike Kubitschek. He is going to try to catch up to Jeremiah Bell. I mean, not Jeremiah Bell. Jonathan Harris to put a lap down, but Jonathan Harris is trying not to be a lap down. He needs a caution to get back in this. So far, so good. Dom Cavs, he is struggling here. He was starting in the back. He pitted on the last caution. That might work for him to top it off on fuel. Dan Johnson looks like he got into the wall. He got some damage. And he is in the 18th position. Jackson Liddell, he was up in the front, I believe. How about Austin Marshall? He was, he got his lap back the hard way. And he's up on, to the 14th position. So far, his strategy is working. Jordan Weefen, we talk about his luck. He is in the third position he's been in the wrong place at the wrong time getting up getting caught up into somebody's mess he's running in the third position Mike Kubitschek is falling back he's probably saving fuel but Jeremiah Bell he is caught up to that 25 car of Jonathan Harris that a car making his first one of the season And it looks like the, he's trying to look around the 25 car. And there he goes. He's right on the bumper of Jonathan Harris. Jeremiah Bell will put a lap down on Jonathan Harris. He, Jer, that A car, Jeremiah Bell, has to prefer, has to prefer a line. Jonathan Harris is the last car on the lead lap here. 30, 30 cars are on the lead lap. 31 cars is on the field and Dylan Dylan Perry is making his pit stop Jacks Austin Liddell's making his pit stop we went here going spectator 
see who made their pit stops and who did not. Dumb caps is coming down pit road. More guys are pitting. Green flag pit stops has happened here. See Austin Liddell a little bit slow on his pit stop. When is the leader coming down in for, in, for pit road? See Dick Trickles in pit road. See Jonathan Harris, he got his lap back and it looks like Jeremiah Bell is saving fuel. <coughs> Jeremiah Bell is on his way down pit road. You do not want to speed here on pit road and you slows it down on time. See the double zero on the 21s and the 22 of Caleb Paris, the 7, the 6, the 10 of JC Christ. So looks like he's putting right side tires in. Is he gonna get left sides, four tires? And he does get four tires. The 45 of Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson, he's going to get a lap lead, and he is on pit road. Caleb Paris, he is on the lead lap now. Sorry about that. Somehow my alarm went off. But anyways, Matt Rodriguez has fallen to the 15th position. I believe caution caution is out. The nine car of Kenneth back. I mean Will back is on pit road. Oh my god, he is done for the day. We'll go ahead and get you guys a replay here. Alright, this was a battle for the 30th position, the double zero of Derek Cohen and the 07 of I always forget the 07 of Austin Liddell made contact. And here comes the nine car. The nine car is sliding on. Just slid the wall. I don't believe had a flat tire. Yeah. You saw how it blew the tire. Try it. Prior broke the the part that hold the wheel of the tire and he is done for the day. See who pitted here. Looks like no one has pitted, and what happened to the 20? Oh, and the 45 retired from the race. What happened to him? We'll get you guys a replay. Well, you guys can see here the 45 is somehow speeding. For some reason, ran into Nick Rodriguez. Probably was unhappy with him, took himself out of the race. See Jonathan Harris. That plays in the favor of Jonathan Harris in that 25 car. He is in the 20th position. And let's see who. Yep. See Dick Trickle is a lap down. And we are going green here. We will not step aside here as we are on lap 40 out of 50. Jeremiah Bell is looking strong. Can Jordan Weefen get a surprise win here at Iowa? Or can the 22 of Kayla Paris?
And we are green flag here at Iowa. Good restart by Jeremiah Bell. Jordan Weepin looks like he was struggling on the restart. I believe I heard cars hitting the wall. Oh god. And for the lead, Kayla Paris and Jeremiah Bell. And I believe caution is out. Caution is out once again. And we'll get you guys a replay here. See here, the 42 of Jason Marshall got in there, got in the corner a little bit too hot, got into the 29, then the 20 of of. Ne Nick Rodriguez, then the 42 will slide up right into the 99 of Matt Rodriguez. Good thing the 99 of Matt Rodriguez is locked into the chase here. Meanwhile, that's when they... They hooked up that 22 car of Caleb Paris. And we'll be right back when we go under green. We are going green here with five laps to go here at Iowa. And the A car of Jeremiah Bell leading the whole race. Can Jeremiah Bell get a good, can get a win and get locked into the chase? Jordan Weave and spun its tired again. Remember, a caution will end the race. We got a bow for the third. Mike Kubitschek, Kyra Bell. Uh oh, three wide. Meanwhile, is Kayla Paris and Jeremiah Bell for the lead? Can Kayla Paris win this race? Can Jeremiah Bell hold off the 22 of Kayla Paris? And caution is out. The race is over. Jeremiah Bell has won this race. And looks like Dylan Perry, Brandon Little, and Matt Rodriguez looks like got in it. We'll get you guys a replay here that Jeremiah Bell will cross the finish line and will become his, well, pretty much first time winning in his career and season. And Jeremiah Bell is going to be crossing the stripe here. Hopefully he does not have an edge and failure. Well, that will be bad. Don't want to jinx that. But so far, Jeremiah Bell is leading. Can he make it around one more time? And we'll get you guys a replay here once once Jeremiah Bell has completed this completed. Coming out of turn number four, Jeremiah Bell will be looking for the checkered flag, and he will win here at Iowa. Jeremiah Bell, your winner. 
He is locked into the chase. Caleb Paris, second. Jordan Weefen in third. Josh Rodriguez in fourth. Cameron Harpo in fifth. And how about Dom Kev's running in the bag is now in sixth. Chase Elderman, Kyra Bell, Nick Rodriguez, and Mike Kubicek is your top ten. And gave a call to that seventh car of Corey Paris in the finishing eleventh. And we'll get you guys a replay here. We well, can see here that 29 car is slow. Looks like a Matt Rodriguez is gonna get into him here. Yeah, Matt, the 29 checked up so much, and the 99 just got tangled right into that mess. But other than that, congratulations to the A car of Jeremiah Bell. No! Oh.